Damn, man. I wake up this morning. Get ready for school. Hop on Instagram real quick. I see Bilal Muhammad has pulled out of his fight at UFC 310. I was so ready to come in here, pick Bilal Muhammad, say how Bilal Muhammad is going to fraud check this guy. He's going to run through this guy. 49, 46 him. <laughs> I was. I was so ready for that. But I'm not getting that. I wish JDM could save us. But JDM still banged up, man. He said UFC 305. It's going to take 12 weeks for him to get right. He would heal right maybe before the card. A couple weeks before the card. Would barely be able to train. Wouldn't have a camp. I don't. I just don't think that's realistic. JDM get healthy. We love JDM. So who can save us? I want to say Kamara Usman, but he's banged up, so he says. Um, he doesn't seem like he's going to fight in 2024. So we're out of luck on that, right? I think the JDM and Usman matchup was so realistic because the timelines kind of match up. By the time JDM's ready, Usman should be ready. So no Usman. You got Sean Brady. A guy who, in his last performance, showed he's a fucking problem. Who wants to watch this shit? I don't want to watch this shit. Is he deserving of it? Yeah. Is he the most deserving? I don't know. I don't want to watch that shit. Me, personally, I don't want to watch that shit. So I'm thinking... Y'all don't like this guy. I'm a huge fan of this guy. His name's Ian Gary. I am. A, I know. I know. That's that's a controversial take right now, and it's becoming harder and harder to be an Ian Gary fan because of all the things outside of the cage that's going on. But I'm a huge fan, and I'm very loyal to Ian Gary. Since the Purple Shorts and Cage Warriors, I am a big Ian Gary fan, and I love the. And people are like trash talking him because he's grappling now. I see evolution. I'm happy to see, okay, now he can grapple. He's working on that submission game. He's working over that shooter box. This this is these are he's making the right moves to get better in his career, in his young career, and become the best he can be and maximize his potential. Why would he just stick to striking and end up like a Kevin Holland? Or end up like an MVP? Especially when there's so many grapplers in his division. Does it make sense? So instead of just being able to defend some takedowns, let's secure our own. Let's reverse positions. I just saw a fucking cyber truck in Hammond, Louisiana. It's crazy. But a lot of people don't like that. I love that. I don't know if Ian Gary wins that fight. It's a tough fight. I think he can win this fight. I think he's going to get smoked. I think Ian Gary will point fight him. And, bro, that is a fucking cyber truck. But I think the most entertaining in the in the matchup with the most potential as far as things to gain little to lose entertainment Joaquin Buckley I think Joaquin Buckley should step up he called out Kamara Usman he wasn't going to get that fight unless he was willing to wait months and months and months Joaquin Buckley's a guy who stays in shape a guy who's showing great progression in each fight that he has just went out there and KO Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Joaquin Buckley. I need you to save us, bro. You versus Shavkat Rachmanov for the interim welterweight title. You ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get up out of here, man. Yay!